Carlos, many congratulations from all of us. You've achieved something now. You can say for certain that you're going to play in the playoffs. The whole town's very happy. How's the coach? Exactly the same, with the same feeling because uh, for me it was an important step to, to finish the season, guarantee the playoff position. And for me, when you see that this is the is a positive reward for, for, for every single player of the team, for this squad, for the fans to come enjoy one season because I know how difficult, how tough have been the previous three seasons for, for Huddersfield Town fans and always to can give something uh, is a positive step. How difficult was the game to manage for the players and for yourself, Carlos? Because clearly uh, the team made a strong start, scored early, were two a lot by the break, but you know how good Barnsley can be and it, it wasn't an easy win as such really, was it? No, no, of course not, but this is the same that I was expecting before to play the game. I was talking with the players about that the game will be tough. They have one, they had to go to, to the winning because it was the, the result that they wanted to achieve. And they, it's true that they have relegated uh, today, but it's one squad and many of these players were playing the play of the last year. So it means that uh, knowing that today the game was a derby, knowing that the only possible result for them was to win the game because they were, they were, they were fighting to survive. And at the same time, Analyzing some of the results that they have achieved against Fulham, against Stoke City, against Swansea or Middlesbrough, that they were beating them, create the, for me, help us to create the right mindset to face the, the game. For me, we were dominant in the first half. We were playing, for me, excellent football. In the second half, in the, at the beginning too, we have some good chances to open or to create a better result. And at the end of the game, we were defending one result. That, unfortunately, they scored the goal, but uh, the team was very focused to defend one important result for us. What would you have liked to see perhaps better on the night in isolation tonight's match? Were the things that you were a bit disappointed by? About we think, sorry? About the way your team played tonight? Disappointed? No chance. Uh, because for me the team was doing managing the ball well. Of course after the game you have some moments that the things are not working well or we were losing some of the balls that didn't allow us to attack as much time as we wanted to attack. But I think for example the first half for me was brilliant. The performance of the team was fantastic. And by the end of the match, you had uh, tried to freshen the team up a little. You included Scott High for the second half. Tell us about that decision. No, Sinari was asking for the change because he couldn't keep playing. And I was thinking that with the option that we had, O'Brien could play in the, in the middle because he was playing more as a striker in defence. He after was playing the left side to accumulate one more player in the middle to attack. And I was thinking that they were in the second half, they will be more aggressive in the pressing. And Scott High can give us the balance to have the ball dropping as a midfielder or the running behind to, to create attacks. Plus the fact that he's a very good player to press. Is Sanani injured then? Yes, he was injured, that's why he couldn't keep playing in the second half. And Ruffles got some game time as well. We were similarly worried about Toffolo at the end of the first half, although he scored his goal. He, he ended the first half walking very heavily, limping, struggling with something. To our surprise, he came back on. Is that now another injury concern for you? We don't know. I don't know yet until I talk with the medical staff, but I was thinking that he couldn't run normally. That's why we were thinking that Rufus could help more the team to, to achieve the result that we wanted to achieve. And how satisfied were you, were you with the uh, contribution that Ruffles made? Very. For me, the last two games of him have been very positive from the bench. He was competing really well. He was having a big chance at the end of the game. And for me, he has grown a lot in his, with his personality in the pitch. So the big conversations around town and amongst Huddersfield Town fans now, Carlos, will be the playoffs. Um, how, how, how much detail do you, do you give to the playoffs themselves yet? You still have two regular fixtures at Coventry and here against Bristol to come, but they're not really going to count for anything, are they? I think every time we are in the football pitch is important. For me, every game means something. And what we need to do is to prepare that game in the same way that we are preparing every single game because we respect our football, because we respect ourselves, we respect our fans and we need to play every game trying to add the three points. We know that we will play against Coventry, that will be a, a tough game and we'll see which players arrive in good conditions to come be a very competitive team. Isn't it an opportunity for you though to rest players who maybe are carrying odd injuries or give more opportunities to players who have been on the bench tonight? I think it's important to analyse how the players arrive which players can compete, which players cannot compete, and after this, to make the decisions. 
on a personal level, if I may uh, say, at the end of the match, you made a gesture uh, of support to Darren, the Huddersf uh, Darryl, the Huddersfield Town fan, I beg your pardon, uh, and you also involved your son. Just explain that to us, that, that moment for you. No, I just wanted to say thank you to every fan that today came here, and I was pleased that we could celebrate with them uh, the winning and the, and the achievement of the team to the playoff. And I just wanted to, to share with my with my child with his Huddersfield T-shirt because he's one to read more in this moment. And of course, it was special for me to come give the the all the fight or send all the fight and all the support to us because we know that when someone is having a, a complicated moment, we want that he can feel our support because every single fan for us is important. And we wanted to send all the best to help him to keep fighting. I can tell you from the reaction we could see that your support for Daryl Hobson was certainly appreciated by Huddersfield Town fans. Uh, so congratulations on that gesture, Carlos. I'm intrigued to know what your son's reaction was as well. We could see his face on the cameras. Something like, Dad, this is not the kind of walk you usually take me on. No, of course not. But like I told you, before they play the game with Luton, he was coming to the training ground to be assistant of me. So uh, today, yes, I was sharing this moment with the fans. Uh, just enjoy him and giving the thanks to them with, with, with him. Well done. Thank you for sharing that with us and congratulations on securing your playoff place for Huddersfield Town. Thank you so much.